Yeah, so what is um, really aggressive um, is to believe that our thoughts and emotions that's power of us. And you can look at your life, even just listening to the questions, you can see that <coughs> we, never, we never know what will come up in our mind, right? One day is like really amazing, or just parts of the days, like glimpses of feeling good. <laughs> and then some parts really feeling bad, feeling miserable, feeling moody, um, rejected feeling not good enough, unsatisfied, tired, ill. And we all, we, have, we all have like a story attached to each of our thoughts and emotions. Like why exactly we're feeling like that? How did we came, how did we come to this point of feeling like we're feeling right now? And it's like a bag we, we carry with us and it doesn't live. <laughs> it's like a carry bag <laughs> attached to our back. And Everywhere we are looking, that's what we see. That's the way also we speak. We speak from our thoughts and emotions, right? We speak, we speak from what we feel, what we think right now. <coughs> and it can be very confusing, you know, believing that all these thoughts and emotions has power over us. That, that can be a very, like for most people, it's a struggle. And you can look at your own life and say, well, if you're not struggling at all with your thoughts and emotions. <laughs> I know I struggled a lot with my thoughts and emotions, trying always to make them look better, or to feel better, uh, change my thoughts and emotions to better ones. So it was always like um, trying to change myself to what I expected myself to be. Can you familiar with that? So then in, in um, what we offer here is uh, introduction to the power of our mind like you heard in the talk awareness what is looking through your eyes what is listening to these words and if you stop thinking for a moment <coughs> just for a moment recognize what remains there is alertness openness the power to know and this is open intelligence what we call it here this is open intelligence. And the next moment the thoughts will come in, right? The thoughts and sensations. But these are inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue in the sky. We cannot separate the thoughts and emotions from our own open intelligence. Like we cannot take the color blue from the sky. Completely inseparable. So at the basis of everything is open intelligence. Whether we are thinking, whether we are feeling a lot, whether we are overwhelmed, or whether we are feeling so relaxed and happy in life. Open intelligence is at the basis of everything. And to get familiar with that in your everyday life, like with your kids, waking up in the morning feeling so tired or feeling so angry or wanting to do something, feeling confused or upset. How do, you know, we want to we wanna practice something that will work for us in our everyday life, not only when we are in a cave, <laughs> right? Or sitting in the nature, in nature, or I don't know, like um, sitting, sitting in front of the beach and thinking how oh, everything is so amazing or listening to beautiful music. We want to have something in our life that is accessible, that is reliable. So the most basic, the most basic fundamental <laughs> recognition is to know ourselves as open intelligence, is to rely on something that is always there, which is open intelligence. And how do we do it? Here we have the practice of short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until this recognition becomes obvious at all times. And it's an instinctive recognition, so it's nothing to think about it. Like right now, take a short moment of completely relaxing body and mind, just as you are. Let everything be as it is, just for a moment, and repeat that recognition whenever you remember to do so. So you see uncontrived, unscheduled, short moments, of complete openness, complete relaxation, 
complete stability no matter what comes up whether we have the most negative thoughts and we have the most positive thoughts. Short moment of complete relaxation, that's the recognition, that's the inseparability, where we really recognize that open intelligence and data are inseparable. You know, like the breeze and the air, like uh, heat and the fire. It's not two, it's not two. We train ourselves to believe it's two things. These are my thoughts, these are my feelings, this is open intelligence, and we are like chasing after open intelligence, trying to get there. Like it's a destination that we will never arrive to. And all of our dreams, all of our passions, everything we really wanted to, to do and be in our life, we just push it down because we feel so affected by our thoughts and emotions, right? We feel affected by money. Yeah, never enough. <laughs> Even if we have enough, we have data about money. Data is like thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences. So we have money, we think, okay, how can I have more money? Or what do I do with all this money? You see? So we emphasize this data stream as something that really can affect our entire life. We wake up angry in the morning or we see something that makes us feel so angry and we, okay, we take it to be something independent, outside of open intelligence. It can affect me today. What should I do with that? Right? And feeling rejected or feeling criticized. And we take this rejection or whatever comes up in the conversations to mean something. Again, believing that this data has power. But see, all these situations can look so totally different a short moment, but actually taking short moment. A short moment of, in the middle of conversation, <laughs> relaxing, just as you are. Listening openly, what it allows you is to really be open to everything. What we're trying to do is to get away from our discomfort, right? We don't feel comfortable feeling criticized or someone saying something we don't like. We just immediately we want to say something back. We want to run away. We want to justify ourselves. We want to argue. So we immediately want to release that tension by doing something that not necessarily will be beneficial. But with a short moment of open intelligence, we are clear. You know, we have access to the nature of our mind. The nature of our mind is vast like the sky is completely clear. It's always open. It's really having a balanced view of how to respond to situations in the most beneficial way. It doesn't mean that if we are totally relaxed, we are not doing anything. We're sitting down and get all the feedback that we don't like, or looking at uh, situations that can be very violent and not do anything. It doesn't mean that at all. This will be an extreme. This will be taking an extreme and thinking this is open intelligence. <laughs> but in relying on open intelligence for short moments, what we tap into is our own skillful means. The skillful means to really use our mind in the most powerful way. Powerful, simple, natural. You know, that kind of way that we always wanted to but we had things in the way, <laughs> those endless conversations between ourselves, what should I do, what should I say, what would they think. So in relying on open intelligence, we have that clarity of mind. We can respond to life and be completely in harmony with our thoughts and emotions. No more fighting with ourselves. That's the, f the starting point. When I met this teaching, it was like, wow, a relief. A relief, I don't need to fight with my thoughts and emotions. I can leave them as they are. That's what we do in a short moment. We leave data as it is. Whenever we remember, and I know that sometimes it feels like, oh, we must do something. But if we look at our life and we look at how we acted upon our thoughts and emotions, believing that we have to do something, basing our actions on this urge to do something, was it really beneficial? Was it really supportive? 
let's say like uh, if we look at percentages <laughs> was it 10% beneficial <laughs> not always I know for myself not always it was always loaded with some some kind of my opinion my point of view you know what I'm trying to <coughs> say I want to do that so in complete perceptual openness there is a balanced view you know that openness that you see recognizing your children that openness is also for you it didn't leave you because you old now older now not old <laughs> whether you old or young you know open intelligence is equally present but that complete openness is it's it's a natural state it's a natural condition you can be the best mom <laughs> just by being as you are and also finding the the ways to acknowledge that openness in your children you know in your just in just recognizing them as completely open you do it already and like you shared <coughs> so perfectly finding ways to acknowledge that but also guide them in a way that will benefit their life you know if it's just to share openly what will serve them and how can you be <coughs> helpful for them or you know it gives so much patience 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 that is not an idea like I need to be patient it's the ultimate patience relying on open intelligence when we are completely relaxed we have that power we see more clearly and the 12 empowerments training which is the found foundational training of this teaching takes you into all this thoughts and emotions or relationships that we been avoided or acted upon and we didn't realize how we even do it I know I was just so ignoring my power to be of benefit and this training really affects us in a way that we instinctively recognize it train it up gaining assurance gaining confidence in that so it's obvious for us at all times at all times that we know what to do that we have a choice of how we use our mind there is the old way of using our mind of living in our thoughts and emotions and there is the new way of using our mind relying on open intelligence which is inseparable from our mind it's not something that we bring in suddenly we have open intelligence you know <laughs> it's something so natural you know like I said looking for your eyes listening to these words what is already aware it's not a big deal but it is as well <laughs> it's a big deal once we recognize it because we see the effect it brings to our families to people we love people even we dislike <laughs> things we don't like to hear things we do like to hear being tired or being so energized it gives that stability that doesn't rely on this continuously changing thoughts and emotions this is so confusing to live like that ever-changing descriptions but living a life based on open intelligence everything is inseparable we are not trying to remove ourselves from anything at all we are open we are responding <coughs> to life we are connected to our family and friends we are not a separate entity that's trying to be aware. <laughs> it's, all, it's all simple, it's all natural, and it's, it's possible for us. <laughs>